as the height of goodness in character and conduct, which would include, include being charitable, being kind, being respectful, uttering words that are beautiful. That's how I get Jannah. In this month of Ramadan, I want every one of us to make a promise. Starting with myself. All the vulgar, hurtful and abusive words we utter, we will cut them. We promise Allah that. Is that a good enough promise? Are we promising Allah? That was not loud enough. I think some of them are still thinking, hey, all those F's and B's that I utter. And that's a reality. We pepper our speech with dirty words and we are mu'mineen and it's the month of Ramadan and we cannot promise Allah to cut it out. You will achieve so much of respect as a human being when you speak respectfully. That's all. Allah promises that to you. You cut it out so much so the hadith actually warns us about something that a lot of us are guilty of including myself and that is slang to stay away from slang slang speak proper language no matter what language you speak but speak a proper language you know i thought about it very hard when i learned this hadith at the end of riyadh salihin and i thought about it i said how come the prophet sallam is speaking about slang to avoid slang and i came to a conclusion some years later that those who speak with good words they are respected so islam is telling you when you use kind good respectful words automatically you're going to lead a life where everyone looks at you with respect they're not going to talk to you with cheap language they know this person respects himself so we must respect him too the sister respects herself we must respect her too but when your language is cheap what happens? You drop yourself down. The value of your own person becomes lower because cheap language. So then I thank Allah and I still thank Allah and I've always thanked Allah. And I've always said, Oh Allah, strengthen us to use beautiful language when we speak so that people can respect us and we respect them as well. So that is a point that I would like everyone to promise. We become more conscious of what we take out of our mouths our wives our husbands they deserve the most beautiful language our parents no matter how much you disagree with them even your in-laws deserve kind speech can you believe it subhanallah <laughs> may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us i was just checking if you guys were awake you know after a long taraweeh mashallah